Hi friends, you are watching Tech Blog and in this video, I wanna show you how to install Genome Tweak Tools, and its utilities. I am using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, Bionic Beaver daily build for this tutorial. Genome Tweak Tool is an Ubuntu application to tweak genome settings. It has been developed particularly to help users tweak elements of the Genome 3 shell, which requires being separately installed from Ubuntu repositories in Oneric. Genome Tweak Tool provides options to install and switch Genome Shell, GTK, Icon, Cursor, Themes, and to change title bar fonts, icons and menu buttons. You can also change the default font size of the Genome Shell, Desktop Icons of File Manager, Title Bar Click Action etc. So, go ahead and click Software Center then search for Genome Tweak or in a command line type sudo apt install genome tweak tool. Let's type genome tweak in the search bar. Then click on genome tweak. Go ahead and click on install button and wait until installation is completed. Provide your sudo password and hit authenticate in order to complete your installation. Under Appearance tab, you find Global Dark Theme, Animation, Theme, Cursor, Icon and Shell. You can easily change the themes from drop-down. The next row is Desktop. Under this section, you will find icons on Desktop. From here you can set which are displayed and which are not displayed on the desktop. For example icons, home directory, network servers, trash, mounted volumes etc. Next is the background. From here you can change the background image of desktop and zoom adjustment. And finally, lock screen element used to set up your lock screen image and zoom adjustment. The next row is extension. Under this section, you will find App Indicator. It is a popular way for app developers to provide additional features to the desktop and show users specific information, without needing to have an app window open. Next is Ubuntu Dock. You can enable or disable the dock. The next row is Font. Under this section, you can able to change font style and size of the different section of window. The next row is keyboard and mouse. Under this section, you can able to change keyboard, mouse and touchpad settings. The next row is power. Under this section, you can enable or disable suspend mode when your laptop lid is closed. The next row is startup application. Under this section, you can set your startup application at the time of booting. The next row is top bar. Under this section, you can able to tweak your top bar like battery percentage, clock, date etc. The next row is Windows. Under this section, you can able to tweak your Windows settings like control boxes, title bar actions etc. The next row is Workspace. Workspaces refer to the grouping of windows on your desktop. You can create multiple workspaces, which act like virtual desktops. Workspaces are meant to reduce clutter and make the desktop easier to navigate. Under this section, you can mark dynamic workspace, set the static workspace numbers etc. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget like, 
share and subscribe us. Have good day, bye bye.